did you see when you went to go check on Flapsy? That she has her tail sticking up. Yeah, and not putting it down at all, huh? Mm -hmm. So I went and got her out of the back pasture, put her in her stall, came back in to tuck everyone into bed, except Grace, and I'm going back out to check on her. Arthur should be home soon, so hopefully we can get a light set up in there. But before he gets home, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some clean bedding down and some fresh water, just in case she kids quickly. And I'm not down here to check on her. It's exciting. Hopefully we're having baby goats. Of course it's dark in here, but brought a flashlight. I'm just gonna watch her and see if I see if she has any contractions. So I'm actually really surprised she hasn't kitted yet because her ligaments have been soft for over a week. It's really hard to tell in this light, but her udder is more full than I've ever seen it. But you just never know till you've seen a goat give birth what it's like for them. <laughs> you don't want to miss it, huh? Do you want to sit down here and watch her? Yeah. Okay. Even though I wish I'd brought my song kit. Right. It's probably better not to because she chew on it. Yeah, she might. Arthur is home, so I feel more comfortable about heading down to the barn and checking on Popsy. I don't have my kidding stuff with me right now. I'm just gonna go give a little peek and then I'll have it sitting by the door for later in case there's signs of labor when I'm down here. Hey mama, how you doing? And she's up, it's looking like a contraction to me. Okay, I'm heading up to the house to get a few things. And settle in for the night. I don't think I'm gonna sleep down there. I mean, I'm basically almost nine months pregnant myself. But I'm gonna get a few things and I'm gonna get a chair and stay down there for as long as I can. What do you think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's in labor. Really? Yep. That's exciting. Yep. Okay, I've got my birth basket ready. Can't find the iodine, but I think it might be down there already, perhaps. Do you think we can get a light down there? Maybe? Um, Maybe not. It's a long way. Can we try? Well, he's thinking that through. I'm gonna make my tea. And I'm excited about this, but honestly, like I said, I'm almost nine months pregnant. It's 10.30 at night. I'm really tired. So I'm gonna go sit with her as long as I can. But if there's not a lot of action, I may just have to set an alarm and get up in a couple hours. I have tea. I feel much more prepared now to go down there and hang out with her. I have never heard her make that sound. It's just me and Flopsy in the middle of the night working it out. Chewing her good. Arthur, maybe he's gonna try to hook a light up. That would be nice. Something I've noticed with her is that she's peeing and pooping constantly, which goats do, but this is a lot more often, like every few minutes. Kind of amazing. My hero farmer has come to help me with some lighting. Okay. I know, she's so sweet. She likes us. She likes me being down here. Grace was the first one to notice that something was up with her. Isn't that cool? So sorry for disturbing you, sweetheart. You can get back into your comfortable place now. So the lighting in here is really bad, but I'm still gonna film. 
because I want to catch this so you guys can see it. And that's a contraction. She she wags her tail like that. I just love how like every well I haven't been to many goat births, just one. But then I did get to see Coco sort of in labor. But they're so different. They're so different, just like mama birth. Oh, there she goes again. They're definitely closer together now. So exciting. It's just kind of neat that the baby in my belly is getting to be here too. Now if only my my dear heart Gracie was down here, but y'all it's midnight. She needs to sleep. Thank you so much. Oh, socks. Thank you. Hot tea. <laughs> Hot tea and warm socks. Just what I need. Oh, I almost can't get my shoes on. When it's like one in the morning and you're almost nine months pregnant and your goat's about to have a baby, but you gotta go pee, what do you do? And she's up. I remember Lovey doing this, getting up and down, up and down. She's back down, facing the wall, which tells me she's getting closer. And I'm freezing, and it's like 1.30. So I'm gonna go make some more hot tea, probably get another blanket and lay down on the ground. It's pretty clean in here, it'll be all right. Okay, I have a sleeping bag. Pretty clean spot right there. I'm gonna set myself up. Look at this goat. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I should just go to bed. In my bed. In my warm house. Because she's just having a ball. Though lots of goats will eat up until they push. And then go right back to eating when they're done. Pushing their babies out. I just really don't want to miss it. I want to see her have her babies. I don't want to be here in case something goes wrong. Not that I even really know what to do, but maybe I would. I mean, I've done a lot of research, but I've never actually helped a goat in labor. I'm taking off my boots and getting in my sleeping bag because she's like not even acting like she's in labor now. All right, Flopsy, wake me when it's time. Okay, I just woke up. It's about four. I'm glad I slept for a little while. And she's definitely having many more contractions now. I've been listening to her. Well, I've been laying in the sleeping bag. Well, it's um six ten, and I slept in the barn all night. And she's not had any babies. If she um, I'm just gonna watch her a few minutes. If she's not showing any signs of active labor, then I'm going to go back up to my house and I guess make my children breakfast. I don't know. She's up and down, pawing at the ground. This is what she's been doing. This is what she did all night. So I got to go inside for a little while. Watch. She's going to drop these babies as soon as I leave. It's a gorgeous morning. Resurrection Sunday. He is risen indeed. <laughs>